Welcome to the video of how to do through the arc seam tracking, or TAS for short, on the CRX Cobot. As you can see right here on my screen, I already have my program written. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit my arc start icon and then hit the edit icon. So on this screen, you're going to choose the weld procedure that you're using for your program. You're going to go to the detail settings tab. And from here, you're going to go to track schedule. So in this screen, you'll have a default settings and you want to make sure that your adjusted lay time is set to 0.136. After you confirm that, you're going to come down to schedule list and then you're going to hit the weld schedule that you're using in your program. After that, you're going to hit edit and come over to the leave tab. So in this tab, you want to make sure that your amplitude is at least two millimeters and that both your dwell times are at least 0 0.08 minimum. After you enter those details, you're gonna hit the track tab. Here, you're gonna hit the drop down menu and select track. Leaving that on feedback, it's okay, all right? Now you're gonna hit the arrow tab next to your program to get back to your program, the top left corner. So now that we're done setting up our chat settings, I'm going to dry run my program to show you that my well start and my well end are programmed in a straight line. Okay, so I'm just going to put my tablet in auto mode and then I'm going to run my program. Okay. So now that you can see that my program is made in a straight line, I'm going to put on my PPE. I'm going to turn on my uh, exhaust fume and then I'm going to adjust my weld in so that you can see that my arc will stay in the joint. As you can see in the picture, my well started outside of the joint, but it worked its way back into the joint by tracking the average. Right, I'm gonna put my teach pendant back into teach mode. Then I'm gonna go back to my edit icon in my arch start. Go back to the procedure you're doing and go back to detail settings. Try schedule. So this part of the video is for people whose default settings aren't working for their track, okay? So if you have a part with heavy mill scale or oil or some type of rust on your part, you might need to adjust your sensitivity, which is located right here in the gain. So the best way to do this is to raise this to the maximum gain, the maximum sensitivity, and then work your way backwards. So when this happens, you'll get a snaking in your well. So you back that down until your well starts to look straight. Also, in your schedule list, you go back to your proceed, your well schedule that you're running, hit edit, come over to the tracking tab, and instead of feedback, you can switch that to constant and leave the amperage the same. So when you run your well the first time, you'll get the feedback of the amperage you're running, and now that you keep it on constant, it's always gonna look for that amperage from here on out. And that is how you do do the arc seam tracking on the CRX profile.